Welcome back. Uh, well, there are a lot of pharmaceutical stocks which are in focus and in fact strides on your radar as well. They've received a US FDA nod for a particular drug, potassium chloride oral solution. Definitely positive for their US business because in Q2 their US business did better than expectations. So that stock is in focus as well. $250 million is what they're targeting in terms of US business guidance for FY23. But nonetheless, let's move on. There are a lot of other pharmaceutical stocks in focus. Uh, Fortis, I'll start from the healthcare space where SEBI has advised them to proceed with the open offer after obtaining an appropriate order from the Delhi High Court and IHH is now obtaining legal advice on the next steps. They have reaffirmed their commitment to investors and the India healthcare sector and that's possibly one of the reasons why you're seeing the stock hold up with a gain of around 2 odd percent. Glenmark Pharma, they held their investor day along with Glenmark Life yesterday and the reason the stock is corrected is because there was no big bang announcement from it. They have a long term guidance in place. So they're saying double digit revenue growth over the next four years, continuous improvement in EBITDA for Glenmark Life, which is the API arm. Uh, the company guidance is mid-teen growth, contract development and manufacturing to double by 2027, stable margins, stable cash flows. So there's nothing really near term which the street can probably work with. And that's probably where you're seeing a bit of a disappointment on both these counters. Sun Pharma, the US FDA has approved a drug called Cesa B, which is basically a drug used for treatment of neonatal seizures. It is the first and only product for neonatal seizures in term and preterm infants. It is expected to be available in the US by Q4. It is a drug which was licensed by Spark from Sun Pharma. Hence, they are eligible to receive milestone payments. Uh, or, um, yeah, there, there was a licensing agreement between the two companies. Bajaj Healthcare, uh, their API facility, there was an, a pre-approval inspection which had taken place by the US FD inspection between the 14th to 17th November and zero observations from the US FD. Hence, that stock is holding up with a gain of around 4 odd percent. And lastly, Aurobindo Pharma approval for an injection, which is amphotericin B, lip, uh, B lipsome injection. Remember that it became very popular in terms of a drug during COVID because it was used to treat black fungus. So the approval is via their injectable arm um, UGIA and the product is expected to be launched in Q3. UGIA will be marketing the drug and they will not be manufacturing it. But nonetheless, that stock is in focus on account of that. All right, so <laughs> I'll uh, let you take that breath, Eta, right now. In fact, we'll take a breather as well on the show. Come back on the other side. We'll take a breather from the equity markets as well because Manisha Gupta, as always, joins in with all things commodities.